Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I made these purple vases to go with my purple painting that I did last week, then please keep watching. Okay, you guys, so I'm just going to run through quickly my items that I'm going to be using for this DIY today, and I will leave a complete list in my description box. So I am going to be using two of these vases that I picked up at uh, Dollarama. They're $4 a piece. They're very beautiful vases. And I'm going to be using three of these jars from Dollarama. They were $2 a piece. I'm going to be using two candle holders from Dollarama to build my base. And we're gonna be using modeling paste again today, you guys, um, some silver spray paint, some Mod Podge, some bling gems, mini mirror tiles. These ones I got from Amazon, you guys, they come in sheets. And these ones that I get at Dollarama that have not had them for about a month now, but I have quite a supply. I'm not sure if I'm going to be break, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using any of this bling sticker sheet from uh, Michaels. It's Recollections. And my paints today, I'm going to be using the metallic amethyst and some purple pearl metallic and just a silver metallic acrylic. Uh, I get this at Dollarama or Dollar Tree and some Recollections Bling. It's called Bling Extra Fine Glitter. And I'm going to be using my flat brushes today, some E6000, my glue gun. So yeah, you guys, uh, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so there are two portions to the base of my vases. And we're going to do the candle holder part first. And I went ahead and I cut the sizes that I needed. So this will be for the top here and then I have four for each side. And first I pulled off this bling wrap um, that was on the side of my candle holder. Really easy to pull off because I don't want that. And I'm going to be using E6000 to adhere my mini tiles to my candle holder. Just gonna add some. like so. I'm just going to go ahead you guys and do uh, my sides off camera and then we will um, go on to the next step. Um, what I want to do is build a base for one of my vases, right? So it is going to be higher than the other one and then the other one will sit like this okay and because these kind of have a gap in here i'm going to be able to do it uh add my modeling paste without having this on okay and then i'm just going to bring it um, my modeling paste to about here and then i'll still be able to screw my lid back on right i'm just going to do it on one you guys and then I'll do the other two off camera. So I'm going to take the lid off. And I found on my pink ones, I could not stand the sound of this um, uh, 
metal on glass. So I'm just going to use today a uh, stir stick, right? A craft stick. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. And then I will um, do a design there. Now I have enough on there. I'm just going to make kind of some twirly designs. There, see? <clears throat> it's nice and flat on the bottom so that I'll be able to uh, glue my vase on this one. That's very pretty, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna set that one aside and let it dry. Okay, you guys, so my modeling paste is all dry. I'm just going to uh, do the one on camera. The other two I'll do off camera. But I'd do a little experiment because I only have, I only have this one um, bottle of the Purple Pearl, which is what I initially wanted to use. Um... But because I have three of these, I may need more than one of the small bottles. And I have lots of this amethyst, which is another really, really pretty metallic paint. And I put a couple little dollops on my plate there just to, um, to see. And I think the amethyst is going to be just fine. So I'm going to just start putting it on my base and what you want to make sure you guys is that you cover all of your modeling paste because that's what you're doing to seal it in right Ooh, that's really pretty you guys and i'm definitely going to have to do um two coats we need to um, glue a couple of these lids together. And I just did a quick um, spray paint of silver along the uh, rim here. So I like to do small pieces, you guys, um, as much as I can, and then, and then put put the whole project together as opposed to putting it together and then all of a sudden I'm contending with one big huge piece right I'm just going to use some of this so I can just keep going you guys and I'm going to make sure that that is on nice and even add a little bit of glue Oh no. <laughs> oh, it didn't stick. Oh no. Oh, that is so pretty. That's the base of one of my vases. Like seriously, that is gorgeous. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, love it when a plan comes together. Okay. Just gonna start this because the last time that folded over on me and the thing almost stuck to itself, so. Okay, you guys, there's the 
smaller base. Okay, so I'm going to paint my vases. I'm just gonna do one on camera, you guys. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some silver metallic from acrylic. And I'm going to again use my amethyst metallic. And I think I'm going to, whoops, wrong one. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the purple pearl. And I think the best way to tackle this, because I'm going to do it similar to my paintings, I'm just going to do a couple rows here. And I think the best way, hopefully I won't get it all over my arm here, but I think the best way would be to just come up this way, you guys. And because I want to make this a fairly smooth edge up here. And I'm definitely going to need um, two coats, but I want to make it as th um, a thin coat as possible. So it's going to be um, nice and smooth. See, yeah, starting at the bottom and then coming up. there and then I'm going to let that dry and then come back and do um, another coat on it so my first coat is dry and I just wanted to bring you back and show you um, what it's gonna look like after I uh, put the second coat on I'm just Again, making my lines similar to what I do with my paintings. And Okay, I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to give it one more coat. Okay, you guys, so I put a third um, coat of paint on here. So I'm going to use um, a Mod Podge satin and I'm going to be just putting um, this Recollections Extra Fine Glitter. It's called Bling. I'm going to pour a little Mod Podge in here. And I'm going to be using um, just a regular brush, you guys, as opposed to a foam brush. 
because I kind of want to try and get wispies, if you will, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm just going to stir up my Mod Podge just so I know that it's nice and uh, creamy. And I'm going to get my glitter ready. And I'm just going to do this with it. I kind of want to bring it up something like that. Because I don't want uh, I don't want the glitter to go all the way up my vase. Now I'm going to go fairly high because I do not want this to clump. We're going to be putting <clears throat> some embellishments around there so okay up nice and high again you guys and there I'm gonna let that dry and once it's dry um, I may find that I'm going to need a, a second coat I just took this little fan brush and I brushed off all of the excess glitter and it did not do the design that I wanted it to do, right? So, and that's okay. I'm going to put another coat of Mod Podge on and some more glitter. I just want to make sure that I get a nice um, design going up my my vase with the glitter. Okay, so I'm kind of doing my icicle effect here. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna get the top first. Quickly, the top. There's lots of um, Mod Podge on the bottom to grab the other glitter. But before this stuff on the top dries, I want to get I want to get the glitter on it, right? There. Okay. Now I can go around the bottom again, and I do know that I've got another layer of that Mod Podge or another layer of the glitter underneath this Mod Podge, so. I think this is dry enough that I can start brushing some of it off. I'm going to use um, this brush right here. So that's with that's with two coats of um, glitter. Okay, you guys. So now we need to start gluing our pieces together, right? I will do this tall one off camera because it'll be pretty difficult for you to see it anyway. So I'm going to get my trusty E6000 out here. And I am going to just load it up.
and then I'm going to pop it on around the center. I am going to do the same thing with my vase. So glue in here. And I am going to get that in the middle as possible. Isn't that pretty? Okay, you guys, so I need to cover uh, this seam up here, okay? And what I'm going to use is these little gems that I got from Dollarama. They're, um, they look kind of like uh, little ice cubes, right? And I'm going to to place them something like so all the way around and I'm thinking that it might be easier to put the glue yeah I think it'd be better to put the glue on the ridge We'll try it that way first. Okay, that looks sweet. But I'm not done yet. I've decided um, that I'm going to add some of, uh, just, just the odd one, uh, these little diamond shaped gems, you guys, and probably a few of the little ones. And I get these in the packages at uh, Dollarama. So I was thinking maybe I would put the odd diamond shaped kind of like so. Have it sort of dripping. Um, just so it kind of has a dripping off of it effect, if you will. This one, this one's a little daintier than the bigger ones, so this might be a little more difficult for me, but let's just give it a whirl here and just drop that in. Oh, yeah, you guys, I like that look. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to just place the odd uh, little diamond around. And see, see how that looks? That looks kind of cool. So, and then after that, I'm going to be done, and I will put them on display for you so you can have a little look. Okay, you guys, here's the finished look. I am so pleased with the way these turned out. And they look absolutely stunning with my purple painting that I did in last week's video. Let's bring you in for a closer look here. Yeah, the striping on the vases looks so pretty. And I love that extra fine bling glitter that I picked up. And then I just added a few of the little round um, gems. 
just to cover that gap up. And the texturing, you guys, is absolutely gorgeous on these vases. I just love the way the, um, the metallic paints bring out all of the uh, peaks and valleys. Yeah, that's just gorgeous, you guys. And my little um, uh, bases that I made. Uh, if you guys do do this, the <laughs> I should have painted. I don't know if you can see that. I just want to show you. Um, just because my um, mini tiles couldn't cover the whole thing. So I should have actually painted uh, the wood before I put those mini tiles on. And those little gems there, they're not stuck on there. I just put them on there. Yeah, you guys. Oh, very happy with this. And if you do decide to do something like this, I hope you can um, find those round jars. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell twice and you will be notified when I upload all of my future videos. And as always, guys, I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.